Hi, I'm Tabitha Bomer with Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas, and I want to welcome you back to our virtual troop meeting. Today, we are going to continue working on the citizen scientist journey, and this series of virtual troop meetings will help your troop or individual girl to fulfill the requirements of the citizen scientist journey for grades K through 12. Did you miss our first two meetings? If you did, go ahead and check out the links on YouTube so you can catch up on the journey and you're ready for today. Let's go ahead and say the Pledge of Allegiance and the Girl Scout Promise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. The objective of the citizen scientist journey is for girls to sharpen their observation skills through fun activities that challenge them to notice changes in people's appearance and in groups of items, why it is important for scientists to use observation, and girls are introduced to citizen science by participating in a citizen science project. To complete this journey, follow these three steps. Find out how citizen scientists make observations, collect data, and work with scientists, sharpen your observation skills through two observation games and a size starter project, and then take action with a take action project that helps others. The curriculum for a Think Like a Citizen Scientist K-5 journey can be found on the Volunteer Toolkit, also known as the VTK. We're working on a virtual troop option for older girls and hope to provide one for you soon. What you're gonna need for today is your pen, paper, or an electronic device with an iNaturalist app already downloaded and internet access. So today you're gonna to be citizen scientists. Last time we talked about all things scientists include in their notes. Let's prepare your notes for today with details like today's date, what we are going to observe, where we're going to do our project, such as in your home or at a local park, and add any notes like drawing a picture or any other observations about the project we're going to do. If you have a cell phone with the iNaturalist app, the app will automatically add notes like location, date, time, and ask for a photo. You will need the iNaturalist app to get started. If you don't have access to an electronic device, you can write your observations in a notebook and submit the data for a later time. The Girl Scouts and SciStarter have teamed up on iNaturalist to gather data from the Girl Scouts far and wide as they participate in the Think Like a Citizen Scientist journey. Because we are meeting from all across the United States and even overseas, we are all working together with fellow Girl Scouts on this project to share the biodiversity that you explore. When scientists want to start a new project, they look at what others have done and choose something to study. This is the purpose of their research. We are going to help observe animals and plants where you live. As you work on this project, you are using those skills that scientists use every day. Observation, where you look very closely at the world around you, gathering data by writing field notes, taking photos, taking measurements, and other items of note, and then analyzing that data. You will be sending your data to a scientist at iNaturalist who will combine it with data from many other people and then analyze it. By sending your data to an online site for the scientists to analyze, you are working like scientists and helping them. Be sure you have set up your SciStarter account at the following link. It is very important to use the link so that you can set up your account and receive credit. Once you've created your SciStarter account, Join the special Girl Scout SciStarter project on iNaturalist so your contributions are part of the record of biodiversity that other Girl Scouts have contributed to. Download the iNaturalist app and add your iNaturalist username to your SciStarter dashboard settings. You should use the same name as your SciStarter account to make things less confusing. You can use an adult to help you with this process. Once you've created your SciStarter and iNaturalist accounts and joined the projects, you will start adding your observations. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how to use the iNaturalist app. All right, so we're gonna pull up the iNaturalist app on our phone. And if we wanna make an observation, we're gonna click right here in the middle where it says observe. And we're gonna have our camera screen. 
and being very careful of any bees, especially around blooming trees is important right now. I'm going to get a picture of my observation, make sure it's focused, and I'm gonna get the leaves, and then there's a green next button. And then, if I wanna add some more photos, because I wanna be very thorough about my observation, I'm gonna click add, and I'm gonna get these seed pods here. And again, making sure it's in focus. And I'll click the green button again. And next. Next, it's gonna ask me what I see right here. And it will pop up some suggestions. If it doesn't, I happen to know this is a Mexican buckeye. So I'm gonna click in buckeye. and it's gonna come up with some different options. I know this one's a Mexican Buckeye, so I'm gonna select that. And you only select if you're very sure of your choice. If I wasn't sure and I just knew it was a Buckeye, I would go with the general observation Buckeye. Now, once I have all of these details, it's gonna fill in my notes, the date and time, my location, and if this was a cultivated or captured item, so in other words, if this was a rose bush, I would go to cultivated and change it to yes. This one is a wild plant. So we're going to share and then it's going to load it up where other scientists are gonna be looking at our data. So that's gonna take it a minute. Now, earlier I had taken some photos of some bumblebees. Now, I'm not familiar with the different bumblebees, so I'm gonna go back to my entry that I did a few days ago, and I'm gonna go to the three dots, and I have someone who has entered in an observation for Eastern Carpenter Bee. Now, when I looked at it, it looked a lot like the bee that I photographed. So I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna hit Agree, and then that will update all of my data on my bumblebee, which is actually an Eastern carpenter bee. And that's the beauty of this app, is that we are working with other scientists. People who know the plants and animals a little better than us can help us with our observations. And that's basically how you do that. You can do as many as you'd like. You can do five, you can do 50. You can do as many as you'd like. Just make sure you make some observations and share them with us. We are looking forward to seeing the data added to the Girl Scout Sci Starter. And the best part is this can be done in your backyard, your park, or anywhere there is wildlife. Also, if you are unable to use the app today, you can enter your data at a later time online. Be sure to include all of your notes, including the date, the time, the location, what you saw, and any photos or drawings. Before we wrap up for today, so you can go out and do your iNaturalist project, let us think of some take action projects we can do as citizen scientists. Remember, you can start another size starter project, create an education piece, or something we haven't even thought of yet. As a virtual troop consisting of hundreds of girls all over the world, we do not have to come up with just one take action project. Keep sending us your ideas and we will discuss take action projects next time we meet. While you are out collecting observations for iNaturalist, keep in mind the that a Girl Scout always leaves a place cleaner than she found it. So if you find any trash while you're out and about, make sure you throw it away and wash your hands with soap afterwards. Thank you so much for joining our virtual troop today. Join us next time as we discuss take action projects and don't forget to wash your hands.